Hi guys, in this video, we're going to be uh, importing data from Excel into Access. Uh, this is this would uh, be often the case while uh, because we have uh, most of us have a lot of data in Excel or we start uh, something in Excel and wish to in, to 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 to, to uh, insert that that data in, a, in at a later stage in Access. So uh, we, what, what we don't want to do is we don't want to you know have to type that data in Access again. So we import those Excel files into Access. Now there are three ways to get Excel data into Access. One is I've already got an Access here in my Access database. I already got a table called Contacts. Now one is I could append external data to that table. That's the first thing I could do. The second thing is I could create a new table in Access with the Excel data. And three is I could build a linked table in Access, which is linked to the Excel table. Now I'm going to show you all three. Let's start with appending. When you import data, especially appending, it is best to close the table you're wishing to append to. So contacts, I wish to append the data to, that, to, to, um, to this table. So what I do, I just close it. And now I go to external data and Excel. And now I specify the file that I wish where, where you know which where my data is that file is over here and this is the data I wish to append into my uh, access uh, database specifically the contacts table and one thing you have to make sure that the column names in Excel have to be identical to the field names in access let me cancel that let me just open up kind so first name surname company position telephone this has to be identical to the excel source okay that's that's very important okay and now obviously what you have to do is basically close your um access table and then we can start importing all right, let's go external data, Excel, and we append a copy. And here we, we, we select the source. The source is uh, desktop and contacts. And then append a copy to my table contacts. Okay. And we see here the data that's coming from Excel. And then we go to next and import to table contacts. I don't, I don't wish to have the wizard analyze my data, finish and close and now if i open up my table contacts i have all the stuff that i got from excel my original table in access had only that stuff till lewis it had only this stuff and all that stuff came from excel all right so that's the first way to import data from um excel into access where you append that data into an existing uh, access table. Now the second method to 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 uh, import data from Excel into Access is by basically creating a new table, and that is the same uh, method as before. You go into Excel. This time you say import, not append. Import, and then browse, and contacts again, and then you go on OK. And now here uh, you've got some more steps or more elaborate. First of all, you have to say whether the first row contains column headings. In our case, it does. Let me just click that. All right. Then I go to next. Now um, you just check each field whether it's got the same or, or the same. Our or our fields are, are of type text. So let's check them out. Are they all text? Indexing at this stage, we don't know what indexing is, so we just basically leave it at no. Again, here, uh, this step asks if, if access should uh, add a primary key. Again, at this stage, we do not know what a primary key is, so we leave no, no primary key. And then next, and here we set the table, uh, the table's name in access, and this is picking the. Um, in Excel, you have the, each each table in Excel has a certain name. Each spreadsheet in Excel has a certain name. It takes that name and tries to use that for 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 a table name in Access. What we do, we can, uh, you know, uh, give give, a, give give our own name. Let's say, let's call it Contacts 
from Excel. Okay. Oops. Just here, I didn't want it, an underscore. So there you go. And finish. And close. So, and there's my contacts from Excel. And that's the, the, uh, the data I imported from Excel. Okay. Now, the third way to import data from Excel is by, link, by creating a link table. And that is, again, I go over here, Excel, link. Again, I have to pick my source. Same source, okay. Now, first row contains headings. Next. And here again, I, I have to input a name. Let's say linked, linked from Excel and finish. Okay, and we're good. Right, and here if I double click that, here's my linked table. Now, one thing about this linked table is I cannot edit anything in it. You see, nothing. You see, now somebody would ask, well, what's the point of that? Well, often you would have uh, data in Excel, which gets often edited in Excel, and which you need in access for, let's say, in queries, in forums, in reports, etc. But it, 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 the users are often only working with that table in Excel. None of the users who are editing this table or updating this table are using access. They're only using Excel, but you still wish to have that data in your access in form of queries or forms or reports. And the beauty about that is if I update my contacts um, file, my Excel uh, contacts file, uh, this, these updates would be then reflected here. I'll show you. Let's, let's just uh, close everything. Let's close everything and let's go into our Excel file. So and let's let's change. Let's have some changes. Now remember, Deborah Gray was an ABC. Now let's do it X Y Z Inc. And let's do John Winter at D G H. Okay, G's two have been changed. Okay. And I'm just going to take away the ink so we know these two have been changed. And let's try it here instead of Robert. Let's let's try it any gobbledygook. Right. Now let's see if if access and let's save obviously. So let's see if access took these changes. And if I go in here, you see, there's the gobbledygook. There's the other change, and there's that change. So you see, anything you change in Excel gets gets uh, taken over in access. And obviously, if I have uh, reports or forms or, or queries based on that specific table, they will have this updated information. Yet, the information resides in Excel and it gets updated and edited in Excel. So that's the point of having a link table. So now you see uh, there are three ways to import data from Excel. One is by linking, uh, creating a link table, which is linked to an Excel file. One is importing into a new table and one is appending into an existing table. Obviously, the, the last two, um, creating a new table with Excel data or appending that Excel data into an existing table, these this data does not get changed if you, if you change the Excel file. Now you see here, this data is still as it is. It is not uh, affected by the changes we did to the Excel file. Same thing here. I mean, once imported, these, this data is fully, uh, resides fully in, in, in access and has no uh, live connection to Excel. It's different with the link table. This link table has a live connection to, uh, to, to the Excel file and any changes in Excel file will uh, be also visible here.